What is up you guys, it's your Valetelli here and welcome back to Let's Catch a Vibe now. I hope everyone's feeling great, feeling amazing, feeling vibey. As you guys can see, this is my episode 1 and 2 review of Invincible Season 2. Now I know I'm a bit late to the game with episode 1. I know I'm a bit late with episode 2. Um, but I just wanted to give you guys my thoughts. I will be doing these every week now, so we'll be doing these, these um, reviews every week. But yeah... Again, back with Invincible. Absolutely love this world. I have read the comics as well. It gets really, really interesting further down the line. But uh, yeah, so pretty much starting us off. The first episode is pretty much us getting over the overall um, main plot of the first season, which was obviously Nolan, aka Omni-Man. If you guys haven't watched the first season, please go and watch it. Oh, Absolutely amazing. I love the fact that it's graphic as well, but I'm probably gushing over it a bit too much. But anyway, so pretty much the first episode is everybody reeling from the season one. Mark's struggling to find himself anything to do in the world now because he doesn't want people to look at him and think Omni-Man and think, you know, there's going to be a problem. Um, Cecil is working with the Guardians still. So we are getting the Guardians. Their team is being updated um in episode one so we are still getting the guardians but again mark the mark's mom they're just still reeling the whole world or probably the pretty much the city is reeling from what happened with omni-man obviously that's going to be a big plot point through season two because again omni-man <laughs> omni-man cleaned house let's just say that omni-man homelander <laughs> not even a contest but anyway we move so Again, pretty much the, pretty much episode one is everybody getting to um, grips with what's happened um, after Omni-Man's um, battle. Now, I like the fact that they've introduced Angstrom Levy. If you guys don't know who Angstrom Levy is, in the comics, he's pretty much somebody that was born with the ability to pretty much open portals to alternate dimensions and parallel universes, you know, which I think is a really, really unique power to have, especially because it's it's pretty much comparable to America, I'm going to butcher this, America Chavez from um, Marvel, which we saw in um, Multiverse of Madness. Angstrom Levis is a bit more of a, you know, he just knows how to use them. So we get the Mauler twins return because, again, they are pretty much geniuses. So pretty much we get Angstrom Levy hire the Mauler twins um, to construct a machine. Which I think is really, really cool. Again, really, really cool character. I like the fact, I like his motive as well. That he's not actually doing it for any power. He just wants to do it. Because obviously there's multiple versions of him across different universes. So he pretty much wants to gain their knowledge into himself. To help this world with, you know, rising sea levels, cure for cancer. Imagine that. Imagine you could go and speak to yourself in an alternate universe. And gain their knowledge. And bring it into yourself. That would be amazing because you would be able to create like different technologies. You'd be able to stop global warming, cancer, AIDS, stuff like that. Like it would be a really, really cool thing. But anyway, pretty much anyone, episode one, everyone's re everyone's really pretty much. There's nothing really that goes on in there. Um, that's big plot point, uh, plot point wise. Other than obviously, you know, Mark trying to fit back in with life and stuff like that. We do get the return of Amber. Now, I'm in the same boat as everyone else. Yeah, Amber ain't that girl. Amber ain't that girl, you know. Amber needs to go. Amber needs to go. <laughs> Not gonna lie. Amber needs to get the hell out of there. Anyway, so pretty much in season, uh, pretty much in episode two, it focuses a bit more on Mark's mom. Because again, you got to think about it. This woman was lied to for 20 years. 20 years of her life was dedicated to this family, yeah? Find out her husband called her a pet. A pet. Like something just to entertain him. Like that's not, you can't imagine what that would do to somebody. Especially like I said, they've given 20 years of their life and dedication to the household that you live in and stuff like that. And then to be told they're a pet. I can't imagine what that would do to somebody being lied to for that long. So again, the mum's pretty much really known for it. We do get another character, Olga, from um, season one, I think. Was it was it Red Flash's wife? You know, the one that was kind of like the Flash character in that universe. I did like in episode two, we do get some kind of expansion on Atlantis. Which pretty much, I think, was it Merman or Marman? He was obviously the king um, of Atlantis. And he pretty much joined the Guardians, like, like Justice League and stuff like that. 
We do get a bit of a cool fight scene where we do actually find that um, Mark actually finds a creative way to defeat this like creature. Because originally he thinks he's got to get married, and then we're like, "Nah, we abolished that. We abolished all that, all that rules and stuff." Oh, sorry. Going back to um, episode one. I like the fact that Engstrom Levy, when he was tied to the machine, he pulled in all different versions of the Mauler twins, which was really, really cool to see. Because, again, we're getting variations and stuff like that. Like, the, the beginning of episode one, we already saw an alternate universe where Mark actually joined his father, Nolan, Omni Man, and he was just tearing up. And he was like, listen, I was like you once, but I, I joined. If you join us, the Viltrum Empire is going to look after you. And I was like... Mm, not gonna lie I would have liked to have seen I know there was a really interesting fight between Immortal and Invincible but I would have liked to have seen like an alternate costume I hope we see alternate costumes now there is meant to be a um, there is meant to be a thing like that because Invincible doesn't just have the blue and yellow he does have like a darker um, he does have a blue and black one eventually um, which you do see later on in the comics but um, yeah Overall, I liked both these episodes. Really, really good, slow introduction to the world of Invincible again. Again, I can't wait until they involve the, the um, Viltrum Empire and stuff like that. And you find out exactly what happened with Nolan when he's gone off in space to rediscover himself and stuff. <sighs> Who I'm really excited for is how, how they do Freddie Mercury. If you don't know who that is. Stay tuned, stay tuned. We're gonna get to him. We're gonna get to Freddie Mercury. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This wasn't really much of like a spoilers or a breakdown or in depth. This was just me giving my, my thoughts on some, some small things that I liked in both episodes. But again, you get, we'll get these weekly. So episode three will be this Friday, I believe. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to smash the like button. If you didn't enjoy the video, let me know in the comments down below why you like the video. Also, let me know what has been your favorite um, seen from season one and season two so far and are you guys looking forward to freddie mercury and what do you think is going to happen to invincible in the end but anyway hope you guys enjoyed this video if you are new to the channel don't forget to subscribe and show if you're new and join to message vibe also if you are new please don't forget to switch some bell notifications to get notified from that below but more importantly don't forget to stay vibey and i'm invincible peace